Now he's on your radio. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? No, I totally expected it. I think he's so handsome. I think... Ain't nobody got time for that. Rock that, homie. The Tony Cam Radio Show starts now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Happy Thursday. Tony Cam Radio Show on Hot 103.9 in the studio with the Hot Squad. What up? Yeah. Everybody doing good today? Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Hey, listen. uh, Be rich. What's up, I was listening back to your shows um, from last week. Uh Uh-huh. And um, I'm inspired, man, by that you writing a uh, play. Yeah, I'm writing a play, though. Duffel Bag Boy. Duffel Bag Boy, man. It's going to yeah. be some good stuff. Yeah, Seriously. so, so you, uh, how far along in the writing are you? Uh, actually, man, I'm, I'm getting there. You know what I'm saying? It's, so, it's like, page it's like, two. It's yeah. like, two pages. fade in. No, yeah. he's on, he's on yeah, fade in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm getting there. I, I'm still writing say, dedication I got to my kids on here. He said, I, got, he said, <laughs> I know, it's a long <laughs> list, bro. <laughs> I said, how far along are you? I got the title. No, you stay busy. Though. You have to, you know, when you get time to get stuff in, man, that's when you No, but you got to, as you're writing something, yeah. and I've learned from past times, right? Uh-huh. You just got to, you just got to drill yeah. on it. Drill, yeah. You can't take your time on it. Just do it, man. Because yeah. somebody, I read a study that says, you know, from creative people that, you know, a lot of times you'd be creating something and you get to a point where you just... You got a block. You got to hit a wall. Right? Yep. Yeah. It happens so, in your comedy, But too. they're saying what you should do is do not stop because of what happens then. Because, like, I guess the left brain controls creativity. Yeah. Okay. So if you get to that point, if you keep going harder, the right brain kicks in and helps out. And then you get even better stuff comes oh, out okay. of it. okay. So you. next time you're writing and you get to a block, don't stop. Just keep writing, even if it's junk to <laughs> yeah, you right but, then. Yeah. But keep on writing it, man. Yeah. But no, but you should consider... Doing a film instead of a play. A film? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that works too. I will, I will film it. I, sc- yeah, yeah. I, I got a new film division with okay. Cam oh, yeah, Entertainment. Right. We got yeah. television and film. We're kicking you should off. do the Tyler Perry thing. Phone, no, no <laughs> not a mega, it's not an eight <laughs> megapixel phone. He's recording it on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We got a real film crew and all that stuff. But yeah. I, when I heard you talking about that, yeah. I'm like, cool story. We can, And we can film that right here in Lynchburg, man. Yeah, it's in the hood. Yeah, it's like I say, it's like a coming of age back, Boy, you got to find somebody to play you as yeah. a young kid, though. Yeah, I'm going to get Jay to do it. My, my little cousin, Jay okay. Traham. He said, okay. he, he said he was down to do it. So none of your kids could do it? Say what? It's kind of rough, man. You said say what? Yeah. Say what? You know? <laughs> yeah, my oldest is only 12, so, so I think gonna go from can... saying, are oh, you my dad? I'm yeah. going to be my dad. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm yeah. going to play my dad. I am my dad. <laughs> Hey, hey, be rich, afraid if his kids start playing him in the film, that they might start acting like him in yeah. real life. Yes, let <laughs> they might start pray. liking me. <laughs> make, a, make a baby on the set. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, grandpappy? <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. No, much luck to you, man, on I that. But yeah, that. you get to follow along in your writing. Let me know, man. We'll I'll let you know. I'll let you, I'll let you check it out. All yeah, because right. I like the whole concept of that, yeah. man. You know, who do you look to? Yeah, you know, that kind of that. Yeah. Speaking of looking to people, hi, Jamil. Hello. <laughs> Okay. I know you're looking to me. Because you're looking to me. I'm just looking at you. I'm not looking, looking at some to yellow you. Pants. <laughs> She's looking at my pants, man. Right, right my like the drop. sunshine. Yeah. Right. You know, because I can't look. it's not butter. <laughs> no, okay. No. She's like, this is the season now. Uh, okay, I'll give you that one. I'll give, I'll give you that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i give you that one. This is. <laughs> But they are intentionally yellow. Obviously. Yeah, she's obvious. No, but this is the season of man. Yeah. You know, fashion is back. Colors are back. You know, men are both busting out now. Our guys from AGT, they look sharp every time we see them somewhere. Yes, Always. They do. So colors are in, man. I mean, you know, get your color paint. You go in the store, you can't go in any men's store now and not see a whole section of, you know, yeah. Jesse Jackson Rainbow Coalition. Right. <laughs> I like to say I'm, 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 Yeah, because I'm looking for Jesse to come up with his line, like Steve Harvey yeah. to get their suit. Jesse Jackson gonna come up with the Rainbow Coalition line, man. All the colors. I all appreciate the guys who step out the box and yeah, you know and dr- and actually dress. I have a hard time doing that. Really? Yeah. I stick with the main three colors that I got on right now. Really? Mm-hmm. Is there a reason? I think a lot colorblind. of them. Are you colorblind? Yeah. yeah. It's hard you to see the colors that work together. I'm like, is this purple? Is this blue? Or is this red? I really, I really don't know. Whoa. That's why you run all them red lights. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'm colorblind, all of yeah. <laughs> At least that's what he talked to. Do. It looked green. I thought it was fuchsia. <laughs> <laughs> it was orange, right? No, but that's cool. I think you know. I think it's it's fun to see. Guys and women too. You know, we've had the ladies on earlier in the week talking about fashion and like that concept right now is that we've 
we've gone through that phase where nobody cared what they look like. Everything yeah. was white tees and jeans. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I went through that phase. Jersey, you know. And, yeah. <laughs> but now, I now, hate to see mm-hmm. a dude walking around with a basketball jersey. With a throwback. Oh, yeah. Really? I do. Mm-hmm. I what don't they just like the look. Their team, I don't though. like it. I think that. Old, I'm talking about men. I'm not talking about boys. Okay. I'm yeah. talking about men. Grown men. I don't like to see it. I don't think it's a good look. Also, I don't like men with cornrows. I need it to stop. Really? I do. You know, I got a men with grill. cornrows. I you got a what? I got a grill. You. I'm a, you got a grill? I'm going to wear my grill to the studio. I want to oh, see you wear your grill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take it. I got it. a full grill. We want to see that. That you man. wear or is it like I, you I, like? I, I, I stopped wearing them a while back. I went okay. to a phase. So what you, yeah. you got to against men with cornrows though? And cornrows? Yeah, Come like on. R. Kelly braid my hair. Come on. Like what? grown men? I natural hair. I like, no, I like mm. men. But it's natural hair though. Cornrows? I like locks. I like locks. Yeah. I, I prefer a clean cut really? dude, but cornrows, no, really? it's not. I, don't know, I think not cornrows it. making a comeback. They're not. Yeah. It's going to be not on grown men. going to be the season not, of cornrows. Hey, not on grown uh, men. Cornrows and colors. Yeah. I had cornrows when I was young. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. But, not now. Well, really? Okay, so we at that point. So I knew you were growing your hair out for your cornrows. Yeah, that's why I was like, no, my hair's short. You just have to put that Jerry curl in it, though. Look, Justin, your hair longer than mine. (laughs) Don't stop. My hair's short now. I wear my hair. I know, but I know you're growing it out for your cornrows. Is that what it is? I want to get cornrows at this point. Really? Let's cut it out. We're going to put the shells on it. Ah, I'm gonna go through my Alan. I'm gonna go through my Allen Iverson phase yeah. right right now at this point in my life. Yes, <laughs> cornrows and a and a seventy sixes jersey. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be my look <laughs> with some shorts and, and some tomorrow. sandals. Yeah. That's gonna be my look right there yeah. for the summer. Mm. Anyway, y'all, welcome to the show. We got a great show planned for you as usual. We got all the usual suspects. Mr. Chuck Rose with the Pimp Minute. Anthony Andrews be here to get all up in your business. We got uh, DJ Ed with the Super Mixes. We got the Entertainment Report by my man DJ321. I'm liking to hearing that entertainment news every day. And um, who we got on the show? Oh, we also got the Diesel the Diesel Moments, the Lips to the Hips. Mm-hmm. Be Rich's hips. favorite segment. She oh, yeah. didn't come back today. Yeah, no. she's, she's out putting, um, teaching people how to get the yeah, lips and hips straight or whatever. I think away. I mean, she's going to do her segment, yeah, but she probably segment, don't want to sit in here with y'all know, anymore. She, she's out somewhere running somebody <laughs> up and down my <laughs> right. chair, So I think we can see her from here. Yeah, she probably, she got them going yep. right now, mm-hmm. man. Three more, two more, <laughs> you know. Also, we got my man Ray McQueen Jr., who also goes by the name of Anthony, Anthony Ray. Ray, is going to be on the show today. So let's get it popping. The Tony Cam Show is on your radio. So in the studio with us right now, Jimmy, are you eating? Are you Serious? Really? <laughs> because Again. in my in my <laughs> super <laughs> duper headphones, be rich. You ain't got no headphones on. Say what? Well, I got buds on. You got today. buds on. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. He's evolving. Um, <laughs> in my super duper headphones, I'm hearing this. Tony, cut it out because munch. I have moved the mic like a mile away. From it wasn't me, so far I can enough. Finish. Whatever. I could hear the crunching munch. Who's in welcome the, to the in studio? The studio with us. <laughs> a big bag of almonds. Someone who who has not been um is not unfamiliar with us. Us. He's one of our dogs, man. That's how we roll. Sure. And he's been here before. Mr. Anthony Ray. What's up, guys? Some of y'all know him as Ray McQueen <clears throat> Jr. Yes. Junior, Junior. How yep. you doing, man? Doing good, man. You're here, doing to really talk, good. you're here to talk about something really cool coming up. Yes, man. Mixtape. It is dropping June 27th on That Piff. It's going to be coming out at 6 p.m. Free. Um, 10 songs, 10 tracks. And so I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. We're going to be knocking this thing out and uh, giving something free for the public. Now, you and your boy have been working on this mixtape for a good while now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And y'all pumping out a lot of music. Yeah. And so um, him and me, we've been friends for like seven, eight years. So it was pretty funny because it's like, you know, we always want to do a project together, but we never could find time. You know, he works, I work, we're busy with life, we're busy with ministry. So it was kind of like hard to do it. And so actually a friend on Twitter who um, is a fan of my music who lives in Georgia, it was like, man, I like that song you and and uh, Ruben did. And I was like, oh, thanks, man, thanks. And he was like, man, y'all should do a project. And then right on Twitter, we was like, okay, let's do a project. So at first, it was five songs. We was like, we're going to do five songs. Then it turned to six. Then it turned to seven. So we was <laughs> like, we might as well do at least ten. Right. You know, just to give people, you know, a full-length project they can play for the summer. 
Um, <laughs> and so that's just that's how it came about. It really wasn't something we planned up. You know, let's strategize to make this big and stuff like it. Just no planning, just, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, yeah, yeah. right. So just, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it it was crazy. It was crazy how it came about. And so, you know, I'm just really excited that we're almost done with this thing. So, yeah. I see you pulled a Diddy, man. You changed your name up on it. Man, you know how I do. You know, I got swag it up for, for, the, uh, for the 2013. No, but um, I just switched the name because a person had the name who lived in another place um, that had my name, and people were inviting me to clubs in in uh, Cleveland. So uh, okay. I'll tell you this like, story about when they, I got, they confused me with the rapper Be Rich. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, the they didn't confuse him. <laughs> no, they he asked him. <laughs> He was like, oh yeah, that's me. They yeah, found you know, they, found, they found oh, yeah, the rapper man, crazy. They found the rapper B Rich tied up in a janitor <laughs> closet <laughs> with tape Damn, on his mouth. VIP. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. So I had to switch the name and um yeah. the cool thing about it is it's just a name. So I could just put it on a CD yeah. and put it out to the public, but it's not like, you know, this is my name, you know, I want to be so cool, this is exclusive. Yeah. It's like, no, nah, I just needed a new name so I can put it on CD so, and put so it on So how do you spell your, your Anthony Ray? Yeah, it's uh, A-N-T-H-O-I, I mean, H-O-N-E. <laughs> oh, he don't know. Oh, he, he can't, can't remember. remember. Yeah, I, I feel, he could be sitting there like, how do I find my I, name? I, 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 I can't find name. my single. I can't find my single. Dad, dad, mom, dad, I can't find my single. Man, it's uh, A N T. Keep changing your name, boy. Oh, N E and then R A Y. So that's, that's how I spell okay. my name. A N T H O N E. And so I did it on purpose like that so people can find yeah. me right. and not put my name up and then find eight different people and try to that's shuffle. Right, shuffle right, right, right. Who's yeah. who? Yeah. yeah, you have to do that. You yeah. do. So. So the mixtape, the drive, right? Yeah. Yes. Is there yeah. any specific like feel to this mixtape? Yes, this mixtape is meant for the summer. It's meant for the summer. Um, it's very '90s inspired. Um, we of course we got some bangers on there for the young people, you know, some turn up type songs. But um, for the most part, it's very '90s inspired. We got a lot of tracks that we um, pretty much found some tracks that we bought some uh, some tracks that I had that I never used. Um, um, that's very '90s esque. Right. Very nineties inspired, more like cruising and so, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's I like very, that. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. The music is, is, and I'm seeing a trend too from mm -hmm. a lot of young guys like yourself mm -hmm. who are actually starting to do good music from back in the day, like the feel good yes. stuff, mm -hmm. like yes, summertime and yes. stuff like that. <laughs> because yeah. you know, you know it's funny. Like when it comes good. to older people, like that's all we complain about. Right. Man, I wish the music was like nineties, man. These kids, they so whack. It's yeah. like. You know, it, it, the '90s really inspired music today sure, yeah. and exactly. this generation. Yeah. You're right, and You're it's right. funny because, like kids, they don't even realize the sound they hear now right. was already done years mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, right. But yep. it's just more up to date. But um, the '90s, the raw '90s sound is just what we're going back to. Is more like West Coast G funk awesome. type of yeah. sound. Fantastic. And so, um, and of course, you know, some New York type of, of yeah, sound. Cool, so cool. we kind of bad those. boy sound. Right, New York right. back yeah, in so the kind of like mesh those because you know um, that's pretty much our influence. You know, yeah. uh, if you if you think about it, um, because we we all do it. It's yeah. the West Coast West Coast G funk sound sure. mixed with a little New York in it, mixed it up. And we just made it our own. Y'all could have, y'all could have squashed the East Coast West Coast beef. <laughs> right, <laughs> this one, dog. I know, I know. We had Pac, we had Pac, we had Pac. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We had look, I want to come to church. That's it. Man. <laughs> and I want to comment you too, uh, compliment yeah. you on your um the CD cover that I saw yes. on your Facebook. The artists that do this, so it's a rendering, a yes. drawing of yeah. you and and your partner by yeah. the car, the drive. Excellent um, album yeah. artwork. That's even yeah. even the, the album artwork is creative. Yes. So, so yeah, shout out to uh, Jones yeah. Factory, man, all the way yeah. from Texas. So awesome. he helped us out do it. That's fantastic. Um, and he he did a great job. And we did it on purpose. So yeah. Um, if you look at the CD cover, it's very summer. Yeah, it looks very right. Summer, very it's got that Will vibe. Smith kind of yeah, vibe. That's yeah, that's the thing I thought feel when I saw good it. about yeah, listening yeah. to so the music. When you hear the when you hear the mixtape, it's it's very feel good. So awesome. we, we actually had a concept with the drive. So. Okay. Um, you know, we're we're talking about, you know, um, just different things that we face mm -hmm. um, as young men, mm -hmm. because, you know, we have a lot of uh, young girls that are being, you know, um, helped with music and yeah. being acknowledged with music. But I think sometimes with the young men, we kind of forget them and put them in the back burner. Yep. And so, you know, we have a song called Young Man on there. We got a song called Breakdown, where sometimes we 
we we feel like you know being Christians is hard. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's it's really hard, mm-hmm. and we get tempted all the time. It's not like you're a Christian and you're an automatic superhero. Yeah, it's like no, we see the same girl you see. Right. We see the same thing. We hear the same things y'all, sure. right, y'all hear. Right. So, yeah. You know, I, I I want people to I want people to relate to us. I don't want people to be like, oh, he's a Christian, so I can't really relate. Right. It's like if you hear this mixtape, you'll be able to relate whether you it. go to church or not. Now, um, now so you're yeah. actually having a listening party tomorrow, but we're yeah. actually gonna drop that break down track on here for you so everybody's yeah. gonna get a little bit of an exclusive yeah. before tomorrow yeah. night oh, yeah. awesome. I might go give me a short set like back yeah. in the day yeah. 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 in the listening <laughs> party man <laughs> so yeah. the give me a short set man <laughs> But yeah, oh, the, but, yeah, but yeah, the listen party is for everybody. Um, so when is the listening party? I mean, where is the listening party? It's um in Acts Two building. It's on um it's in Roanoke, Virginia, mm-hmm. and it's downtown. Okay. And so we're gonna have all the information on Facebook. You can get with me. Okay. Um, and it's it's Friday, June twenty first. Okay. It's free to the public. Free everything. And it's from seven to eight thirty. Awesome. We're probably gonna rap for a little bit. Probably do two songs, and then for the rest of the night, play the whole track, do yeah. some commentary. Okay. And so um that's what we want. That's the way do. to do it. That yep. is the way to do it. Okay. Okay, man. Well, yeah, well, we're going to play the track on the show. Yes. We're going to put the stuff on our hot page, too, with That's information on the listening party. Yes. But good. Congratulations, man. You, Thank you. You always inspire us when you drop by. Thank you. Thank the you. The young man doing big things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you look a little taller than last time. He is taller. I'm keep, certain of it. Every I'm time like, he comes, though, he's gross. <laughs> I'm like, man, my head almost hit the, the door. I'm I like, know what's going on? I was well, wondering why you were wearing the high waters today. Uh, I was, I was oh, going to say that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and, Le- and Levi's, man, help your boy out. Y'all always running out 32, 36. I'm like, man, 32, 32 ain't working, man. Help me out. Man. I know that's right, man. But, but yeah. thanks for stopping by, man. Yes, Ray McQueen Jr., otherwise known as Anthony Ray. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you. If you want to be a guest on the Tony Cam Show, send an email to radio at camentertainment.com.